Dark our run trail. He he kind of has like a, a you know a border around him, and we need to like kill as much border as that as possible because if this you know that if this was like green, if you were, there was a lot of greens or certain colors behind him in the original background, um, it would show in in your run trail all that would show. So right now I I have the blue sky or the gray sky in this upper half of him, so this is going to show. So if I echo this out it's gonna you know show my echoes so we need to pretty much fix that before we do our next step so let's go ahead and um, take this and go we'll try it this way first we'll go to our pre comp and actually yeah let's try it on here first let's go simple we'll try the mate choker first and see if that'll work Okay, that's not going to work on here. This, so what, we'll do, what we're going to need to do is just go ahead and pre-comp this. And then we'll add the mate choker to the pre-comp. And then we should be able to get it. Now just bring it in, not too much, but to where, you know, if you have any issues like that, bring it in to where, you know, most of that's gone. You know, it doesn't matter if it cuts the dude off a little bit. Uh, but you have to get rid of uh, the any kind of edge problems that you have in the background there. So don't worry about you know losing the character at all. Because basically, don't forget, we don't need him keyed out. We just need a trace of him to use as an overlay of for the run trail. So you know you're still going to have your original footage there. That's why we don't need to key him out. Uh, we're going to be using him over the same exact spot he w was originally. We're just basically getting whatever we can from him to use to overlay uh, run trail on. All right, so that's why we don't need a perfect uh, cutout of him. All right, so that's good. That's good right there. We'll just leave that like that. Now, just to be sure, we're going to do another pre-comp just to make sure everything's solid and uh, move all attributes. Now, now we have, you know, a whole new uh, comp to work with, like it's real footage. He's, you know, cut out and everything. All right, so now what we got to do is create an outline of him. So one simple way to do that, we can go to channel, calculations, turn on alpha, and it gives an alpha mat of that. And for this one, we can just set to none. And then after that, we can go to stylize and find edges and invert. All right, so now that's going to give us our the outline that we need. But you know, better yet, better yet to make sure. See, we're getting a little show through of the edges of him still in there because of the, you know how that the whole alpha mat thing works. What we're going to do is let's see if we can just go ahead and turn this to alpha and fix that. Sometimes that might work. No, not not enough. All right, so we'll just leave it. Oh wait, wait, wait. That might be good. It's a little bit better. All right, so we got that. I mean, I guess we can probably. I mean, I just don't feel safe. I'd rather use the cutout of him. So what we'll do is here. We'll do it the safe way. We'll just do the safe way. Get rid of the effects, right? Right from there, let's just go and create an auto trace of him. This way, we have a whole new auto trace uh, alpha mat to work with. So it'll be much safer that way. Go to auto trace. Some people don't like, you know, get confused on auto trace. That's why I was trying to avoid it. But we're going to go ahead and use it because it's just much safer. But we'll get a much cleaner result. We won't have to work with this alpha mat anymore. We can pretty much get rid of it. All right. So we're going to choose alpha. Change the threshold to 50. And here's all the settings I use. And make sure you apply to new layer. And work area, of course. This way it does the whole work area, apply to new layer. It's going to create a whole new solid just of the alpha mat. And then just click OK. And then just wait for it. And guess I'll just stay here. I don't want to, I was going to pause the recorder, but when you're doing auto trace, any little thing you click or do will kill the uh, auto trace, and we don't want to do that. Um, I'd like to try to pause it though, just to see what happens. I'll pause it and I'll come back uh, after it's done tracing. 
All right, so we successfully did that. All right, so now we can get rid of the pre-comp that we made. We don't need it anymore. I'll just turn that baby off. Now we got a nice keyed out uh, alpha mat of him. So now we can go get our poser run file again. And as you can see, it's much better now. See, if we were to use this as a track mate now, now everything's fine. You know, we don't have to, we don't have the uh, edge because like we had before, you know, just in teeny tiny areas, maybe there, because we didn't go through the whole file when we were checking it. But, um, you know, that's going to be perfect. You know, it's uh, pretty much where we need it. All right. So now we got that. Uh, we have our auto trace. So what we can do here is we're going to make a duplicate of this. I mean, maybe we don't need a duplicate. Just trying to think. I like. I mean, I usually like having one both. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. Just do a duplicate of it, just so we have one of each. And we're gonna make uh, this one. We're gonna turn this one on, and we're gonna set effect. And we'll let's go to stylize, find edges, and invert. Now we have our outline version. All right. So now we got an outline version and we have a solid version. So we can just go ahead and hit enter on this and make this the outline one. And on this one, hit enter and we'll call this a solid. Just so we remember which is which. So one's for solid and this one's for uh, this one's for outline, the other one's for solid. So now we can switch these and now we'll get the outline of him. Okay, because now everything that was white is being turned, you know, cut out. Uh, pretty much everything that's black is being cut out, and now the white is what we see. So now we get an outline of him. All right. So now that that looks fine. Now let's create two versions of him, just in case we need him. So we're going to create a duplicate of this poser run file, and he's going to go underneath the solid, right? So we have the solid poser cut out which we'll go ahead and we're going to pre-comp these two, solid and this poser one. Going to pre-comp those, and we'll call this uh, solid color. And, of course, this one is our outline, which includes the outline in the original file. We'll pre-comp that one to an outline color, just to keep everything clean. So we have no effects that are uh, being used to slow things down during this. Okay, so now we have an outline version and a solid version in case we need it for something. And I'm sure you know what the colored version w might be used for if we wanted to do, uh, you know, add some extra color to it later, or maybe to overlay uh, our outline effect um, so the trail doesn't come over on top of the character. All right, so now let's go get another version of our poser run guy. All right, now we have, you know, our main thing here. And, of course, we have our outline, which you can kind of see around him. And, of course, we have the solid version, which if we were to set it to add, you know, you'd actually have him glowing now. But, you know, we're not going to use the solid color for now. You know, you can use that, use the same idea. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do the outline for this tutorial. But, um, you know, if... It's just letting you know how to get the solid and the outline both in case you want to use it and go further with it and try to, you know, play with it and make it useful for something. But it's just going to be the outline we're going to use. All right, so now we got our poser on the bottom and we have outline on top. Okay, we don't even need to turn on the outline now. What we have to do is create a new solid and just make comp size, make sure it's a comp size, click OK. All right, now we're going to go to Effect, Trap Code, Particular, and we're going to go to Emitter, and expand the Particle one, and Particle Type. Well, first, before we do that, because we don't want too many particles, set this to 10. So we don't want to start off with 100 particles when we do this because it'll be really slow in the beginning. All right, uh, we'll set this to direction. 
and directional spread zero.